Alrighty, good morning, Everyday Math. I am at page 282 in your math journal. You want to go there as well. So while you're flipping and turning pages and running around and grabbing your math journal, let's go ahead and um, I want to talk about today's problem. Or our joke, not problem. Today's joke. Why did the cookie cry? The cookie cried because it, its mom was a wafer so long. You get it? A wafer. Wafer. Another term used for a cookie. A wafer so long. Get it? Got it? Good. All right. We are continuing with our ideas, or excuse me, um, our rate problems and proportions. What we are doing is we're pretty much making two equal fractions. And when you set them equal to each other, they're called a rate problem. A rate, so we have miles per hour for our number one. And there are proportions, or when we set these numbers to equal each other, like fractions. When they're set to equal each other, that's called a proportion. So I'm going to go through the process of solving something like number one. And then also we'll take a look at solving a few others, maybe number three and number four. Okay, but let's start with number one. Number one says Robin rode her bike at an average speed of eight miles per hour. At this rate, how far would she travel in three hours? So we, we can make pretty good sense of that, eight miles an hour, eight miles per hour. So let's fill in our proportions. So we know that she's traveling eight miles in one hour. So over one hour of time, she can ride her bike eight out or eight miles. Now we're trying to figure out what, how many miles is it going to be if she does it in three hours. So here's what we do. Do you see the difference between one and three? How, what would we need to do to get our answer of one or our, our answer of three on the bottom? You remember the whole thing, whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. Remember, we're making equivalent fractions. Equivalent means that they equal each other. So if we want, um, for example, if we see a 3 at the bottom, we know that we multiplied the bottom by 3. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So this meant times 3. And up here, we've also got a times 3. So 8 times 3 is 24. So if Robin continues to ride her bike at 8 miles per hour at that constant speed, she doesn't slow down or she doesn't speed up, then in three hours she would travel 24 miles. That's to like the mind back in three hours on a bike. That's not too bad. It's pretty, pretty decent speed. Okay, so that is our answer for number two. Um, we filled in our chart. Make sure you write in 24 miles up here. All right. Now let's go down to number three. You can work on number two. Talia rode her bike at an average speed of 10 miles per hour. At this rate, how long would it take Talia to ride 15 miles? All right. So let's fill in what we know. We know 10 miles in one hour. And we're trying to figure out, what about 15 miles? How far is she going to go? This is going to be a little bit more tricky. Um, it's not really going to be multiplied because we're looking at the denominator. So it's, it's going to, well, it's, it's still going to be talking about how, what do we multiply it by? So what's a number that we can multiply 10 to get 15? So I know if I multiply 10 by 2, that it's going to equal 20. And that's, that's not going to work. So we've got to go a little bit smaller. So 10 times 1 is just 10. Um, so I'm going to try, we're going to multiply by 1 half. And so let me punch that into my calculator. 10 times, not 11, 10 times 1.5 equals 15. So if we multiply the top by 1 half, we also have to multiply the bottom by one half. So one times one half is one half. So we went, now at that rate, she's um, driven or rode her bike um, 15 miles in one and a half hours. So make sure we get that up here. One and a half 
hours. Okay, so you're finding what is our, what are the two numbers multiplied by? You can see that down here, is that to find t, when we have 6 over 1, we, we have to figure out what do we need to multiply 6 by to get 72. And so we do 6 times 12. So whatever you do to the top, you have to do the bottom. So then what's our answer? How long must she, earn, must she uh, babysit to get 72 bucks? She'd have to get... 12 hours worth of babysitting to get 72 bucks. So remember, you are multiplying um, your numbers. You're trying to figure out what do we multiply by to get an equivalent fraction. Okay, Equivalent means the same. Alright, I think that's good enough for now. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um, you're going to see some division with decimals. It gives you an example but if you're still stuck, please raise your hand and I'll help you with that. All right, go ahead and work hard, stay humble, and I'll see you in real life.